public opinion is sharply divided over the recent changes within the British monarchy. Recent reports indicate that King Charles and Prince William have shed their last tears over the emotional removal of Prince Harry's royal title. This pivotal decision marks a crucial moment in the monarchy's future strategy and coincides with Catherine, Princess of Wales, returning to her royal duties. What seemed to be a long-term preparation period for William has suddenly become much more uncertain, as the timeline for his future role as king appears to be accelerating. Back in February, it became clear that William's hopes of having a decade or two to enjoy being the Prince of Wales were suddenly in jeopardy. Alongside key members of the royal family, King Charles has finalized every detail of his eldest son's comprehensive plan. The two kings have agreed to strip Prince Harry of his titles, a decision that has left Harry feeling deeply upset. Despite the careful consideration that preceded this decision, the royal family stood united on February 5, 2024, highlighting the strength of their collective resolve. Charles's staff has maintained a tight-lipped approach regarding the king's health, protecting the royal family's interests and ensuring that any speculation is minimized. As William's influence continues to grow within the royal household, he is acutely aware of the weight of his future role. Insiders suggest that the constant pressure of being heir to the throne weighs heavily on his mind, shaping his decisions and actions as he navigates his path toward kingship. Despite the internal pressures, the royal family has managed to maintain a carefully curated public image. However, the Sussexes, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, are no longer acknowledged in the same way, raising questions about their place in the royal family moving forward. Many believe the decision to strip the Sussexes of their titles was bold but necessary, aiming to protect the dignity of the monarchy. While this decision comes with emotional and logistical complexities, it also emphasizes the importance of clear communication and transparency in managing sensitive matters. The appointment of Princess Catherine to a new role, coupled with the removal of Harry and Meghan's titles, signals the monarchy's commitment to its future stability. Adopting an ice the mount approach, which minimizes emotional engagement, has proven essential for preserving the integrity of the monarchy. Early responses from Buckingham Palace aimed to maintain civility, with invitations extended to Harry and Meghan for key family events, such as weddings and funerals. These gestures were intended to bridge the gap and offer olive branches, giving the couple opportunities to reconnect with their family. Unfortunately, every public appearance by the Sussexes seemed to reignite tensions and bring about fresh drama. After attending the Jubilee, the world was soon hit with new allegations from their bombshell Oprah interview. Initially, the royal family's strategy involved accommodating the Sussexes to save face and present a united front. However, British media speculated that this approach was meant to avoid further embarrassment and limit damage to the royal family's reputation. As time went on, grievances were aired more publicly and contentiously. From Prince Harry's memoirs to scathing remarks by royal commentators, the royal family found itself at the center of a growing narrative of conflict. This tension became glaringly evident when Harry and Meghan's absence at significant royal events was palpable but never acknowledged. In his public address, King Charles emphasized themes of service and duty without mentioning his youngest son, a subtle yet powerful reminder of the royal rifts. The coronation of King Charles also highlighted these divides. Prince Harry attended alone, relegated to a back pew, while Meghan remained in California. The decisions made by King Charles and Prince William, though seen as necessary for the monarchy's future, have ignited controversy and emotional turmoil within the royal household. As the royal family continues to navigate these unprecedented challenges, it's clear that moving forward will require careful thought and effective communication. In conclusion, the monarchy's integrity hangs in the balance as it addresses these issues. Thank you for tuning in. What are your thoughts on King Charles's decisions? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you agree. We want to hear your opinions, so let's share our thoughts together. Stay tuned, as this is just the beginning, and things are only getting more interesting.